Hi, this is Ashok here. I'm a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix uh, training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to uh, CFA and investment banking topics. How to find the growth rate growth rate for your stock? How to find the growth rate for your stock? So growth rate is equal to return on equity. So from the return, whatever I am retaining. So into retention ratio. This is the formula. Okay, Growth is equal to return on equity into retention ratio. So further return on equity is equal to net profit divided by equities. This is the formula for return on equity. For retention ratio, what is the formula? So, retention ratio is equal to, um, so what would be my retention ratio? It will be 1 minus dividend payout ratio. 1 minus dividend payout ratio. So, I am shortly writing as DPR, dividend payout ratio. Because whatever my uh, dividend payout ratio is, uh, minus 1, you will get the retention ratio. So, if dividend payout ratio is something like 60 percentage, then 40 percentage is the retention ratio. Okay. So, how do I calculate dividend payout ratio now? Dividend payout ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by earning per share. Dividend per share divided by earning per share. Okay. So, this is dividend payout ratio. So, in the exam for uh, level 1 in equities, they will ask this question. They may ask this question like growth rate. So, in that growth rate, you know, you will be given, in the question, you will be given DPS and EPS, dividend per share and uh, earning per share. So, you will not directly get the answer, you know, giving this formula. You, you will be wondering like, you know, where is this retention, uh, uh, where is this retention uh, ratio? So, in the exam, how the question will come is, they will ask for, you know, uh, uh, the growth rate and uh, what uh, people will look for is like, you know, uh, the straight formula for ROE and retention rate, which you will not get because they would have given information of DPS and EPS. So, from DPS and EPS, you have to find out DPR. From DPR, you have to find out the retention rate and you have to then apply that retention rate over here to uh, get the growth rate. Fine. Thank you.